It's good to see you guys. You know, um, it's a tough locker room. And so, um, you know, I told them that I wish that, uh, that we, that I could take the pain away. I wish that you could say that, you know, you put together a great week and you bounce back from a hardship and kind of put the pieces back together um, to fight for, uh, you know, another day um, and do all of it in in kind of a right manner. And you wish that all that stuff would work out in the end, you know. And so we all know that that's not the case. And, you know, I just – I respect the team and you know it's I think this game in a lot of ways is kind of a microcosm of us and you know for them to kind of fight and kind of stick with it I um I have a lot of respect for them you know we've got um a game here coming up quick you know tomorrow we got to be back at it I think I'm meeting with coaches uh early in the morning to watch the tape and then we're with our players uh, tomorrow afternoon to kind of get going for the next one. We have a, a game here um, on Friday, so it's a shorter week. But um, a lot of credit uh, goes to TCU. I thought they fought hard. I thought that they um, you know, stayed in it. They've been in a few games, I think, like this one we just played, and uh, have a lot of respect for Coach and that team. But, uh, you know, we'll bounce back from this. Take any questions you guys got. Dave, obviously Max Duggan's a very experienced veteran QB. How important is, is it to have a guy like that in that kind of situation where you got to rally a team? Yeah, I thought um, I thought he did a great job of of keeping plays alive. You know, the times that we were able to get some pressure, I thought he was able to elongate and kind of make plays with his legs. I thought, you know, the 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 quarterback draw there at the end was a big play, um, but you know, I thought he, he was a, he was able to make some throws that were kind of bang bang throws. We hadn't really seen that a ton on tape from him, and so I was impressed with him that way too. But um, to have someone in there that you kind of have to have it all together in terms of your rush lanes and tight coverage always makes it difficult. Dave, y'all had moved the ball so well all day. Was there anything TCU did on those last two possessions, or do you think it was more execution on your end to not get a first down? Yeah, sure, sure, disappointing uh, series. And, you know, I thought there was, there was plenty of discussion going into that on the looks that we're expecting and, and just all of it. And I just – I'd have to look at the film to tell you exactly – it just seemed like the piles were, were going the other way than what we'd want. And, you know, it's, it's, it's disappointing and it's frustrating after, you know, the day of running the ball that we had. Uh, you made them use the timeouts like you wanted to on that last possession, but do you wish you'd been more aggressive on that last offensive possession? On which one was that? That was the last. Your last one were, you know, they had to call their timeouts. Oh, okay. So you left them at 134. Yeah. Um, you know, I thought I would, I would think that if it wasn't for some of the success we had running the ball. I think some, there was tight coverage for sure, and it was a sellout to stop the run. Uh, but the, there was times they were doing that throughout the game, you know, and the runs that we had were accounting for that. And so um, – I'd have to look at the film to see exactly what happened, but you know, I was I was uh, confident with us, you know, doing what got us to that point. Dave, I know the rule on the substitution that if it's a field goal, mm -hmm. you have to know that they're going to do that, so they can't stop the or they can't you can't substitute or mm -hmm. slow down the clock. Mm -hmm. Can you slow down at least substituting somebody to create some sort of chaos on that play? I don't think so. Yeah. Coach, now, you, you, last week you had the disappointment of losing in the way that you all did and you responded. Is it easier or more difficult to respond 
tomorrow in the way that you manner that you guys lost today than it would be when you lose by you know twenty or thirty. Losing is always difficult. I think you know. I think when you when you go through a week and you you go through hard things together and you invest and you sacrifice, the thought is always that you're going to win, and so it kind of builds throughout the week. Even if you've you, know, you lost it on a particular Saturday, you build it back up. And so any time that, you know, it kind of goes back down, there's always a hurt that goes with that. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's way um, brave of guys to continually to give everything they have when they go through some of the hurts that you go through. And so to continue to show up and to give their best and to, you know, be a leader and push others when they – you know, maybe don't want to show up because they don't want to go through that again. I think for sure that's that's part of the journey we're on right now. And so I think either way, it's difficult. That's, uh, Dave, you had mentioned last week that you were disappointed in the way that y'all didn't come back off the mat when you mm -hmm. got down. This week, you know, second half, y'all fall behind and manage to rally and put a couple of drives together. How impressed were you with the way that they were able to fight back, especially compared to last week? I appreciate that question. I thought um, I was way impressed, and you know, um, it's been it's been a long time coming for that, and to see it, and then just to be on the sidelines and the huddles, to hear it, and to you know, a lot of it, you can feel what's going to happen prior just being on the sidelines, just the energy that's there, and the talk, and the kind of the vibe, I guess. So a lot of that was good, and you knew that. We were gonna f we were gonna fight through this, and so uh, way appreciative of the team. I think uh, for sure the loss and the manner of the loss is is a true gut punch, but there's a lot of growth today. Dave, back to that fire drill field goal at the end. Uh, TCU has to have a lot go right for that mm -hmm. to happen. I mean, you know, nobody jump, 11 guys on the field, mm -hmm. all of that. Uh, have you – I mean, you've coached football a long time. Have you ever been a part of a play like that, either the good side or the bad side? Yeah, it's something that you always practice, and it's something that, um, you know, for the, you have to kind of weekly stay up with that so that when there is that opportunity – that it's not a shock, that it's not a thing, you know, and so uh, credit to them. Thank you, all. Thank you guys. Thank you.